Hello and welcome to Junior Television. Today we're going to do something a little weird. Well actually, cool. Today we're going to be opening at least 35 new old stock Ford parts for cars. Let's just dig right in. Hop right in. Or, well they seem new old stock. I got them all for free, so I can't complain about the price. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. This box, unfortunately, as you may be able to tell, is severely disintegrating in front of our very eyes. Ah, heck, I'll just pull it out this side. Okay, this is a struggler. This box is struggling a little bit. And I don't want to damage the box, because I do plan to keep this in their box. Alright. So there's our first item of interest. It is a Ford... Uh, what else would it be? It's a uh, balance... Harmonic balance. It goes on the front of the crankshaft. I'm sure there's other names for it, but I always called it a harmonic balance. Anyways, now not all of these might be brand new. Some of them look like they might have been just put back in the box in good condition. But this is one of the ones I believe is new. Based on how, you know, nice it is in terms of wear. The rubber seems great, especially for its age. Uh, all the paint is still here. I don't know if that was painted from factory. Probably not based on how evenly it's unpainted but I'm not sure the other side is the same situation still got all the original nice paint on it it doesn't act like it's been repainted this looks like it's original paint you see here it's uh, it's not painted here again I don't know if that's normal but I believe it is got a couple of chips here but that I believe is from storage condition it was stored extremely poorly in a shed that was ex that uh didn't was not climate controlled in any way. It was very humid and boiling hot, and then in the winter it's freezing cold, negative degrees for something like forty years. So that's a long time. Actually, assuming this is nineteen sixty, they only had it. They only used it in the sixties. So from nineteen seventy to now is probably how long it's been stored in there. So, a long time. Let me just grab that box. Here's the box. It's pretty cool. It's just a generic looking cardboard box, unfortunately, but it does have the FOMO Co. sticker on the front of it with the, <coughs> excuse me, with the uh, serial number and the part description, which I was close. It's a crankshaft dampener, not a Harmonic balancer. Sim pretty much does the same thing. So, Speaking of boring cardboard, here's our next part. And we're going to go for two, two for one in this one, and you'll see why. Uh, they're both the same item for the same car, the same exact part. It's a steering worm sector. It's one of them. <coughs> Here's the first one. This one honestly looks like it may have been used before. Uh, because of the chiseled action happening here. As if somebody took a file and just filed it. Don't know why that happened, but it did. The threads are in pretty good condition. There's a little ding right there. It's not too bad. I don't know if it has been used. It certainly looks like it may have been, but if it has, it's in extremely good condition for wear. Set that there. Hopefully it's on camera. Can't tell very well. This one has a slightly different thing on the front. It's got a whole sticker. Very nice. Spigs Ford Motor Company sticker. And this one looks much newer. This one looks much better condition. So you can see here if I could just get this box out of the way. Not only is this one not covered in oil, this one also rotates much freer. 
Although I don't know if that's normal. It feels normal. It feels nice. Looking at it a little bit. You can see that there's no real chisel marks on here, filing marks. These pin, this pin is much shorter, which means it actually is flush instead of where this one is sticking out so much and it's been chiseled here or filed or whatever. There's an 11 stamped in here. You probably can't see that very well. I'm hoping you can. Don't know if that's normal. Does this one have an 11 in it? This one seems to have a 99 or a 66. Nope, that's a... F All right, no, that's a 44. Sorry about that. I think it's a 44. Hope you can see that. Don't got a display for my camera, so... Can't tell how good it looks. Now, the only thing that would make me think this is used is the threads. These are... Unfortunately, they look like they've been stripped or cross-threaded, which would really suck. I can't... This could just be what they look like from factory. Not likely, though. Uh, but it is possible. It certainly is possible. <clears throat> Whereas this one just has your very conventional-looking normal threads. All right. So it's hard to tell, honestly, but it will get easier to tell what parts are new and what parts are not new. And I'll show you a great example of a new, much newer looking part next. Once I just package these back up. The problem with opening these boxes is that I had them in this little display shelf thing. And once I open them, I have to undo the scotch tape and, uh, because, yeah, you, not all of them, these are just held together with scotch, some of these. And I don't want these to just, you know, burst open on the shelf, so I have to redo that out of, off camera. Next, the final ugly box is this box. It's in the worst condition out of those, uh, boring colored boxes. It's a piston with a kingpin, or a, sorry, just a pin. Don't know whether to call those pins or kingpins, but okay, I guess I'm not going to show that box right now. It's a nice piston. Looks like it hasn't been used. There's no traces of gasoline or carbon on the front. You got this too. Don't know if that's from the factory or what. This is, of course, factory, the little notch in the, this. It has very little wear visible on it, if in any. You can even see the original machine mark on here from the blade. It's just a little stripe that goes the entire length of this. And it just shows, you know. But, uh, the only part that doesn't look like it's new or the part that looks like it's been used at least a little bit would be the pin because this pin not only is it black oh, there's more spiders okay well uh, I'm gonna there's good spiders in here I'm gonna clean them out but first I'm gonna show you this is black which is not normal I don't believe to my knowledge it should be completely silvery like the rest it's a little ridge built up here same on this side, it's kind of black, there's a little ridge, uh, and there's some rust. If you don't like watching spiders get eliminated, then I would recommend skipping ahead to about a minute from now. I think that's how long it'll take. You know, it's interesting, this is the second time I filmed this piston being unboxed because the first one the camera cut died on me shortly after I began filming so there was a spider in the box and I didn't bother to check ooh I wonder if there's one in there but now I know there is so that's great I'm gonna just think is he alive oh he might be dead thank goodness he might already be dead ooh Nasty, nasty, disgusting, gross. 
Ugh. Ugh. Gross. It's gonna keep the spider off the screen. Why? Oh, verify my complaint here. All right. Ugh. Ew. Sorry, I'm just very don't like spiders. Now, time to put this back in its box. Wherever that is, here's the box. So finally I can be relieved that this box no longer contains any spiders. Probably should have checked the first time, but I didn't. Alright, now we've got enough through all the ugly boxes. Time for the pretty boxes, or prettier boxes. Personally, I think they're quite nice. First off, an unfortunate box. This box is clearly falling apart. This side is, uh, it's just, it's undone. There's the cam gear, but this part of the box here folds under, and then this piece of cardboard here is glued. Unfortunately, that has come undone over the years, but otherwise than that, here's the part itself. And this is a camshaft gear. Not entirely sure for what uh, engine. This doesn't look like it's for a timing chain or belt. I know it's from the 60s, so it's very unlikely it's a belt. But to me, this looks like a uh, like a gear on gear setup. You know, there's a, there would be a crankshaft gear that would mesh directly with this gear. So yeah. I think that's what that's off of. This one does look like it hasn't been used, if it, like very little, if at all. Uh, you still got the original cross hatching. There is like pretty much seems like there's no oil on this at all, although it is a little shiny in some most areas. It's got the number three imprinted on this. Here, I don't know if you can see that. Probably is not in focus at all right now but I hope it is <clears throat> set this back in its chamber of that is the square cardboard mess on occasion it will close and kind of stay closed but most times it'll just kind of explode open when you least expect it Here's another little box. It's a much smaller box than last time, and immediately it says it's a camshaft front bearing STD standard. I think that's what that stands for. Here it is. This one looks new. I have no reason to believe this has been used at all. Um, I'm not a bearing expert, but I do believe this is new. You can see this little puzzle piece type crack here, which... Uh, you would think you might pop open if you're not a mechanic. If you are a mechanic, I'm sure you know that you're not supposed to, you know, pop this open from the ring shape it is. I found out on another bearing that somebody tried to do that, and unfortunately it cracked the bearing surface on the inside here. Here's another box. Excuse me. This one is crankshaft main bearings. Now these look new, except for the fact that they're copper colored. See, on modern bearings, usually copper color indicates that they're worn out, but on old bearings, I'm not entirely sure. This, based on how evenly it's colored copper, and based on the condition of everywhere else on the bearing I would assume that these are new so I think these are new <laughs> it's, but, you know not positive but I believe so they're pretty nice and this box is in nice condition crankshaft main bearings part number is CIGE6333-A One package of two pieces Next 
There's this much uglier looking box. I already know what this is. It is an oil pump drive gear. This one is oily. Very oily. That hurts. Just got this orangey li li syrupy liquid type stuff on it from f factory. I don't know. It gets possible. <laughs> Not likely. It's got this little hex type you know allen key drive which i know ford uses which i do not like it's much worse than the gm just slit because that's a lot easier to time in my experience anyways it's very nice it looks like it's not very much worn out if at all except for the slick coating and this is not a liquid whatever this is i mean it probably was but it's dried up and it leaves no residue on my fingers so I don't know what this is that liquid or what looks to be a liquid nothing else is in this box by the way this box seems like it might be just a little bit oversized not very much but just a little bit here we got much of the same a oil pump drive gear which is not the same at all actually it's very different not only does this look new and it contains no weird coating or anything but it also uses a slat which is like the inverted version of a gm because the gm would be the uh shaft would have a slot in it whereas this is the sticking out the slat so yeah it looks new there's some rust on it but that i believe is storage condition but it will, otherwise it looks new. I can't tell because these are slightly different color than the deep groove on the inside. So it could have been used or it could just be the different color because of the weird shape of these teeth. It's tough to tell. And this one comes in a more appropriate looking box. Next, we got this tiny little adorable box, which is a bearing, and it's unlike the other bearings we've looked at. This one actually is a needle bearing. Usually comes out easier. This is a little needle bearing assembly. It comes with the original wax paper, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you've got your little needle bearings in here. They don't rotate freely. You can't move them. I don't know if that's because the oil in here is dried up. And if you just added some new oil, it would clear up and it would begin to rotate. But either way, it doesn't move right now. And I don't plan on like getting it so it'll move because it's just a part. I don't even own a car that this would go on to. So. Yeah. Here's another item, cam and shaft, not the cam shaft, cam and shaft. This one's quite a bit going on in here. You can see here you got two cams, it's a little cardboard protection device. I don't know what these would go to, but my best guess would be the gear selection for a transmission. This would be on the inside of the transmission, I would assume. Although I'm not positive, I'm not familiar with this device. These look like they've been used. Not just because of the very weird, not very great welds, but also because these, you can see a small ridge here, as if something's been, you know, gliding along here and beginning to wear it a little bit. This one has the same thing. I assume that this, these device here, there's a spring, and I assume it goes in the cylinder. This little shaft fits into the spring, and I assume it would engage with this. You know, maybe it would engage inside of this, uh, this shaft here, or maybe it would even go here. 
tough to tell, but that's what I believe, but I'm not positive. If you happen to know what this goes to, hit me up in the comments. Have a nice little discussion about it. <clears throat> Put this back in the box. Oop, I don't want to lose these in case these are something I need to use in the future. Plus, I just want to keep them all together anyways. Some valve springs. These are kind of cool. They have definitely not been used before. Based on the fact that all the original paint is still on here. And they don't look like they've been worn at all or installed even. But I can't verify that, but I believe so. You might notice a minor problem with these, and that is, there's seven. It's an eight piece set, and only seven are, can, you know, here, which really sucks. I wish I had the eighth, but I don't. And you can't be too picky about this either, because I did get them for free. So, you win some, you lose some. I feel like this box would only barely fit eight. It's a little small. Here's a more interesting box. Not because of the box itself, unfortunately. It's been damaged. But what's inside the box? It's a pump of some type. I believe power steering, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But yeah, it's a pump. It looks like it's never been used inside of whatever it belongs into. This is a, uh, what do they call them, variable displacement? It's either way, it's a four tooth gear riding in a five tooth thing. So it usually it rides smoother than, there we go. Usually it rides pretty smoothly, although if you're not careful, it'll get stuck a little bit. Anyways, it kind of wobbles around a little bit. You can see there's a keyway here. And, uh, it's got this Allen type connection, you know, inverted hex or whatever. And uh, on the side you got some timing marks for the two dots to line up. Don't know, I believe it's power steering, but only because of this other item that's in the box which is a power steering pump valve that's the only indication I have that this would be power steering related otherwise you know I wouldn't I'd be clueless I don't know this wouldn't be an oil pump because it's too weird this is not usually what how an oil pump works usually it's only two gears meshing inside of a little box but yeah, here's a power steering pump valve. It even comes in this adorable little FOMO Co. bag. Unfortunately, this box gives us no clues as to what's in here. It's completely blank in terms of doc, you know, what the part inside is supposed to be. Although it does give us a, you know, a strict warning on the bottom, like all these boxes do, not to duplicate these boxes or the logos on the boxes. As you can see there. Don't copy this box or else. I don't think they would care anymore if you duplicate these boxes. Here's another box. This is a pretty neat looking box. It's got the FOMOCO logo, our warning. And this is a retainer, two pieces. The part number is uh, right there as you can see. Now let's find out, eee, that's kind of scary. I don't want to damage this tab here, so I'm going to open it from the bottom and see if I got better luck there. Come on. There we go. Here we are. This is, well, honestly, this 
could be just described as two metal U-shaped brackets, or really square, you know, shaped brackets. As for what this is, not sure. Don't know what it goes to. Has it been used before? Maybe. Definitely possible. It's kind of dingy and dirty. But it's not overly dirty. If this was used on the other underside of a vehicle, I'd assume it had very low mileage or it wasn't driven very much. But it's certainly possible. Let's see here. I'll fix that, uh, try and, you know, mend that tab a little bit off screen to see if maybe I can make it a little happier than it currently is. Although I probably won't actually do that, but I'll sure as heck say I will. Come on. 